Hey, this is Derek, and this is a preview of StoryMaker. StoryMaker is really interesting to me. It's an open source video creation tool designed for users who are not necessarily savvy in how video storytelling works. So it does a lot of things. It was originally created by the Guardian Project, uh, which is now defunct. Uh, the website is down, and um, uh, you can't really uh, download this app anymore. You have to compile it from the open source code on GitHub. But once you go through all those loops, it's kind of a cool thing. It initially prompts you to create an account at StoryMaker. Uh, and that's because they provide free hosting for the videos that users provide. But it also gives you a couple of other options to upload, including YouTube, Facebook, internetarchive.org. One can imagine you could set up your own uh, repository. Um, okay, so uh, briefly, I just wanted to note that you can use um, a download manager. Ooh, uh, I'm going to do that, actually. Uh, you can also select a language. It has already been localized in a ton of languages. Uh, uh, I think I might have pointed people in the direction of the Arabic TransFX page, but you've got German, Dutch, Spanish, uh, a bunch of different options. Um, in this case, we're going to keep on English. And StoryMaker has some interesting um, features here. So it's not your traditional storytelling application that you might see with uh, Instagram stories or with TikTok or even with uh, uh, Twitter fleet, right? Um, this assumes that you need some help coming together with maybe five or ten minute um uh, or even shorter stories, and uh, it helps you by giving you a bunch of lessons. You can load a lesson, and you can see there are a bunch of stories about the evolution of story, you know, the basic art of storytelling, security, um, photography, a bunch of useful things. There's guides, so these are um, basic elements of how to, to use uh, the various features, and I think I've downloaded this already, and it will like run you through a step-by-step -step process. So it, it invests pretty heavily in tutorialization. And then what's most interesting, templates. So templates allow you to generate a story using prompts from the application. So I'm gonna say, make a video story, and I'm gonna tell a story about an event. It loads up this page, and then it gives you a series of content types to capture. So first, get a picture of the place. Second, um, talk about preparation for the event. Third, find something notable about the event. Fourth, introduce characters, actions, characters, actions, and then um, summarize with, um, you know, a, a final end of the event result, right? So it, it guides you through the process of actually creating content. Let's show me, let's show you what this looks like. I'm going to start up at the very top and I'm going to choose an event. Now I can capture information directly from my phone's hardware or I can um, import something that I've already taken. Let's do a capture. Here's the outside of my house. Now, if I don't like that, say I shouldn't have been talking over it, I can just redo. And accept. All right. Um, I'm going to skip over a couple of these things and introduce a character. Uh, ask a person to introduce the event. Maybe I've already got this video. So I'll go to my import option. And then there's this handsome fella looking like a dope. I'll put that in there. And then one other um, capture. So I'll choose this. That's me looking around my room earlier. So you can do a mix of pre-recorded stuff or uh, record on the fly. And then at the tail end, uh, you can change the order of these clips and then narrate over it. So I'm just going to say, And then, and 
and then I can publish. So I'm going to click on the publish button. It's going to take a few seconds. Here at this fantastic setting, you can find handsome people doing stupid stuff. And it stitches it together. Now, when I export, I have the option to export to a private server, SoundCloud, Flickr, YouTube, Facebook, or internetarchive.org, or I could upload securely via Tor uh, to any of these locations, and what's really interesting is I could also publish to StoryMaker. So it might be interesting to think about this as in an analog with um, Terrasso. You know, people who are interested in storytelling uh, but don't necessarily know how to do it directly uh, have an option to publish directly to the platform and to their own personal accounts or to download this thing if they so wish. So really interesting um, tool. Uh, like I say, it's open source but no longer maintained. So, you know, something to think about.